you know, one of my problems I've had, this is me as a creative in this capacity. I got really into this idea of trying to be so original with everything that I like exhausted myself, literally spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on certain projects just to have them fail. And the ones that did actually come out, nobody cared. And I was so obsessed mm. with being original because there was this pressure in my industry. Like nobody does anything new. It's like, who? why didn't somebody do anything original? So I was like really feeding into that. And I think that was really, really a critical moment for me because there was a lot of failure in that, meaning products that never made it off the ground, money wasted, and products that were made that actually nobody wanted because they were too weird. So like, <laughs> I they I don't want truly lot. original, do they? They don't want. Nobody wants what they say they want. The customer yeah. usually doesn't know what they want. There's like a really, you know, the customer is always right thing. That's a very interesting. This that's a whole other podcast. But it's like people in guitar. It's funny. So I like, you know, this is like a. Stratocaster, classic. Nice, guitar. and for someone who's listening, he's pulling up a guitar and showing it to me on the yeah, camera. Yeah, I'm right just now. I'm showing a guitar. This guitar was created in the '50s, and a guy named Leo Fender. He's responsible for kind of the evolution and the technology of a solid body electric guitar that was able to be turned up loud, which in turn created rock and roll. Like really simple narrative. His first prototype was 1949. And it evolved into a guitar by 52 called the Telecaster, named after the television. So Telecaster, because television was new. And this guitar from 1952, if you go right now, start booking concert tickets all over the world for the next 30 days, go to a concert every night, you'll see a Telecaster on a stage 85% of the time. It was invented in 1949. Wow. It does not get better than that guitar for many reasons. And you can watch a metal band use it. You can watch a jazz guy use it and a country guy. The same is with all the electronics and pedals. So I make pedals. The first pedal was invented in 1962. And really, kind of everything that would happen ever happened in about 20 years. And then we kind of, we get sparks of creativity around the basic idea of what was already made. But people always say they want something new in my genre, but they really don't because electric guitar is pretty fixed. There's a sound, there's an expectation, and it's an interesting struggle. And I see a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners get really forced into some of this mindset that's hard for them to handle. You know, whether you're in tech or tech is different and weird. Tech is so interesting. You look at something like Apple. What did it mean for Apple to innovate? Like, in a lot of ways, it meant that he just took away a bunch of unused stuff and, like, made a clean product. I think that's what Steve Jobs was so fascinatingly brilliant at. But I fell into that trap of, like, I must make the most original, unique stuff ever. And I learned hard lessons that were, that's not a good strategy. Um, originality isn't always what we think it is. It's not some great ufo falling from the sky you know it's really just it's all about the story it's all about the motivation behind the product how it serves somebody does it make them happy and you also you also lose this beautiful thing which is and i have a lot of friends that deal with this you know i have a a, a couple of friends they really struggle with like why should i make this product there's like 10 of them well you haven't made mm. yours yet like that's a huge thing it, that was some hard lessons for me to learn because um, I got real fixated on the originality thing. If you liked this video and want to listen to the full episode, go to your favorite podcast app and subscribe to the Dave Crenshaw Success Project. You can also find all the full episodes at successproject.show.